y'all may be looking at my feet like in my legs like ooh, they banged up but it's a reason why I'm showing y'all my legs I just wanted y'all to see how skinny there was my legs was I mean you know I got the muscles from the dancing and the working out and oh yes I need a pedicure but I just wanted y'all to see that what's up diamonds and gents this is Miss Trey the gym and you're watching gym spot tv not feeling that good today Trey is my name for those that shout me out and say Trey you don't put a Y after uh, Tracy and Trey see <laughs> but anyway um I'm not feeling that good. I'm on this new medicine. I got a new doctor that's a quack. I need a new doctor. I hate I lost my doctor. The picture, well, the little video that I'm showing you guys of my legs, they banged up ain't the hell of a time, boy, man. I got girly girl after a while, though. Still sometimes the tomboy come out. Let's see there or there. I'm not my normal self because I'm not feeling good. I'm I'm not feeling good physically and I'm dang sure ain't feeling good emotionally. It's like when you get bad health care, y'all, it just, it hurts you, you know, because it's like you're not even taking your job serious. Get to the doctor's office at about 11.30. Then leave like to like two. Sat there an hour. They had to take my blood pressure twice. It was 144 over 84 the first time. The second time it was like uh, 110 over 70, which is my norm. The first one was pretty elevated as heck. I, I literally rushed <laughs> to get there. Because, you know, they have this new policy, if you miss it, if you're more than 10 or 15 minutes late, you know, you got to reschedule and it take like literally three weeks or more to get another appointment. So, uh, I had, this was, this is literally a follow-up from me being in the hospital in September. So, you can imagine things have literally changed with my health since then. It's gotten better on other ends and now they don't know. Well, he don't know because he didn't examine me. Okay, let me just make that clear. He diagnosed me, y'all, with hypertension. Did y'all just hear both of my blood pressures? He diagnosed me with hypertension and gave me some dang on blood pressure medicine. With wait, with water pills without potassium. After I looked at the sheet, because he didn't tell me that. He told me he was re prescribing me what I had and then changed my medicine to what I told him make me sick. <laughs> so they were claiming he was so busy and he wasn't able to see nobody. I said, excuse me, he just gave me everything I don't need. I've been without my medicine now almost two months I need my medicine and if he can't see me then y'all need to have a doctor or somebody up in here come see me because he didn't gave me a list of stuff that don't pertain to me first of all so he says to me he says okay he upped my dosage on some medicine that was lowered because my body can't take it too high. But he upped it. Mind you, never took my clothes off. He didn't examine me. Blood test. I had to tell him after the second time I went in there after he didn't prescribe this medicine to me that he should do a test on me. Something like a A1C, something like if you want to say it's obesity, which is not, okay? Because as you can see, I show y'all pictures of myself and how I look. I'm toe up right now because I'm not feeling good. But as y'all can see, I'm too big. Yes, I'm bigger. Okay? I am 220. Mind you, I did gain weight. 
from my previous of losing weight. But my nurse, oh girl, you now I know who she is. This guy's new. Oh girl, it's probably muscle you've been working out. Ooh. Yeah, whatever. It's still wait. You're so uh I'm kind of feeling some kind of way, so I'm rambling a little bit, y'all, because I really just want to go off. That's how peed off I am when you get bad health care. It's just like, what? I was like, maybe you should. Um, and I was even naming the test for him that eventually he ordered that he did before, before he diagnosed me with something. And so he was like, oh, he was like, are you in the medical field? I said, well, this was my major in school, healthcare management. You know, I had a semester left. I said, I, and I am a certified phlebotomist. I was like, you know, just explaining to him, like, you're not going to be able to just tell me no any old thing. You're going to have to break it down, brother. And I said, and that's the generic form of blood pressure medicine. That's not blood pressure medicine. I said, okay. Because I my phone, I don't have my Android anymore, so I can't go on the internet, which I'm about to get a new one. My battery bus. So to all those that have been trying to call or text or whatever, my Android battery. Let me, hold on. Well, no. It's exploded inside itself, so, and it don't hold in the phone, so. I'm not paying a bill for something that I ain't bought back yet. But I've been using my mom's phone since she's been in rehab. And speaking of my mom, she had a stroke in December. She's in rehab now, you know. I haven't even been able to go see her. I've been so feeling bad. I haven't even been to work, y'all. It's been three days because I've been feeling bad. Anyhow, and then you give me medicine and it's worse. It's just... The stuff I don't need. He had to give me some emergency something because he was like, if I don't get this to you and you fall out and you and you came here, I can be sued for malpractice, all this and that. Whatever. So I'm like, dude, I noticed. I said, man, my mom was taking this. And I said, you prescribing water pills to me at this amount of dosage without potassium pills. Are you serious? I said, what you trying to do to me? I said, you want me up in here as your permanent? I said, oh no. I said, one thing you're going to find out about me is you're not going to be able to just give me no bunch of medicine. And I said, and I don't even have no damn hypertension. Well, your first blood pressure. I said, dude, come on. I said, I, I just told you. You see the second one, don't you? That's my norm. I said, if you look at my other records, you see that's over there my norm. If that's my normal norm, why would you be trying to give me high blood pressure medicine? I said, I'll do what I told you. I ran up here literally to catch my appointment so that I wouldn't have to reschedule to see y'all in a month because I need my medicine. I feel like crap, but I'm hurting y'all because what do you do when you can't get good med medical care or health care? What do you do? Who do you complain to? Is it a board you can complain to? If anybody that know, please tell me because I need good health care. And I'm not going to just take any old thing so that you can diagnose me with something I ain't got. And then, when I went to reliable sources to see what was wrong with me, you tell me it ain't even that. Oh, I'm going to take you off that because I don't even think that you have any elevated sugars over you. you. Your sugars are normal ever since you've been coming here and I don't think you even have that. Are you serious? I was like, so who do I trust? Do I trust you telling me, mind you, these people took blood blood for me. These people had me in a hospital. These people gave me medicine that didn't make me sick. But since I've seen y'all people over here, y'all done gave me medicine that make me sick. That, wait, that it made me gain 15 pounds. Huh? Explain this to me. Because I was, I was, I was, I had lost my weight. But I'm gaining it with what you're giving me. And now you want to give me something because now you see I'm gaining weight. Which the nurse going to try to tell me is muscle. 
babe, all I know is what do you do? Who do you complain to? How do you get good health care? Because it's like the third one, and I don't know what to do. And the medicine I'm taking ain't no good for me. I feel like crap. And um, that's why I'm at with it, people. But I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm going to leave y'all on this note because I'm going to get on off here. Don't let anybody just diagnose you any old thing. This brother literally put a stethoscope to my chest and my back and told me I breathed okay. Told me my vitals was okay. Told me everything was fine until he wanted to prescribe something to me. Explain. I had to tell him, no, hell no, you're going to order some tests on me. I had to tell him, you're going to check my hemoglobin. You're going to check my A1C. You're going to check, you're going to give me a TCH. You're going to check and see about this quote-unquote morbid obesity. You're going to check my levels. You're not just going to keep giving me stuff. No, hell no. I'm not going to take everything. And I'm telling y'all now, if you got a doctor that's all they doing is trying to prescribe you pills, do your research. No, everybody is not going to be a toothpick. Yes, I know I need to lose 55 more pounds. But however, I am not going to take no any other thing. I'm not going to let anybody just subscribe any old thing to me. And so with that being said, please people, research. Because if I would have just left out of there and been taking that medicine, I'd be worse off than what I am with the emergency medicine he gave me. Which come to find out is what um, don't do my body right. It make me feel like this. So, research. Don't just let people give you any old thing. Google is at your fingertips. Bing is at your fingertips. There's no way why you should know what type of medicine, even without a healthcare background. You should know what kind of medicine you're taking. You should know the side effects. You should know. Period. Like with my mom, they tried to give her a generic form of metropolol. That closed her airways. Hell no. I said, you're not going to give it to her. Oh, this is not trouble all. That's the generic form. I, that's the brand name. That's the generic form. Brand name, generic form. You're not giving her that. And, guess what? I'm not signing that paper. So, if her airways close off up in here, I'm telling you, now I'm getting paid. And no, it ain't about that. But sometimes people need to pay like they weigh. Because when you know you doing somebody wrong, and I'm the kind of person, oh, you, I'm not going to shut up till I get results. And he found that out. Needless to say, I was getting stick with a needle. They was taking some blood from me. Because now I didn't came and saw you twice, and you ain't took no blood from me yet, and you started giving me medicine. All you do every time I see you, I'm always fully clothed. You don't even know how my legs look, but yet you thought I had big legs, okay? Then you put a thesicle to my chest. You make me breathe. You say I breathe fine, but yet you still giving me stuff I don't need. No. 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 So, do your research, people. Don't just let people give y'all any old thing. Okay? And that's what it is. Diamonds, all I got to say is I'm being tough over here. <laughs> Just keep on praying for us, sister. Y'all, this is Elf. My lips been doing some things different, so it should be coming up on the haul. Y'all don't like the hauls too much. <laughs> Y'all like when I'm running and doing reviews. I get like 20, 30 uh, views on a haul, maybe. I think I'm going to do one more and then I'm done with the hauls. I'll leave the hauls to the other girls. Because y'all too much don't like the hauls. Y'all like the reviews. So I'm going to keep them coming. But this is one of my rants and normally uh, my vents. And normally my vents don't get that many views. But I do need help. So please people, if you know somebody that knows somebody, please message down below how I can complain. And report this to the medical board. Because I don't think this is normal practice for you to see somebody 
press their skin through some pants and say they got cankles. And y'all see my legs in the beginning. I don't have cankles. Just saying. All right. Y'all pray for me as I pray for y'all. Everybody keep being strong. I love y'all. Appreciate you, Diamonds. Thank you to all the new Diamonds and just that have subscribed. Thank you to those that have been tweeting and Facebooking the videos. A lot of the videos are, man, one got 2,000 views. Another one got 1,000 and some views. Another one got almost 1,500 views, 500 views, 600 views. I love y'all. Y'all are doing the dang thing. Y'all like, I'm going to get the word out about your channel. And I appreciate y'all so much for that. Um, I'm going to post a video after this one. I'm going to do two today since this one was really just me venting and get, needed to really do a vid video diary and getting it out there. How I was feeling and what was going on uh, about, you know, some charitable things I'm trying to do with uh, my jewelry site. So get at that video. Check out the jewelry. It's some affordable pieces. Uh, tweak the jewelry site because 20% of all proceeds, mind you, I don't even get 100% of the money from the jewelry. But 20% of all the proceeds that I make, not Kit, not Kitsy Lane, but that I make. So I'm only making a percentage. And the 20% of that little bit I'm getting, plus whatever, I may even match with my own money if I get my butt back to work. We'll be going to restorationhousechicago.org. Okay. So I'm going to get on off here. This kind of went longer than what I was expecting. I love you. Love you. Love you.